hi guys in this video we will be continuing our project which is we will be we will add the vote or just we added that on the migrations that the vote will uh, integer so we can use that in the futures so in the futures of our project so I will open the code now and then I will look on the schema if we still have in here let me remove this one schema we have the vote here which is the integer so we will once you click the uh, the vote uh, field it will increment and increment and yeah and then we will add that in our features of the product of the project and then yeah let's move on okay so now first i will look in the index so we have here the project so i will be i will add here the uh, let's add here and the undo and then resources uh, we'll put the here votes and then from here we'll wrap and then from that we will be adding we'll add the uh, controllers so let's add the controllers votes underscore controller that rv so and then we put the class put the votes and then controller application controller and then end so what we're gonna do first in here is to say hey when you vote in here it will increment so what we're gonna do is to post the method which is dev which is create and then from that create you will say add project and then I think we can use the increment increment and then we'll use the field vote and then from that um, what we're gonna do is create private private method the uh, private method sorry <laughs> and then we will add here let's say set the project or set vote let's put name set vote uh, so I just put the set vote in here so if a if you are a new programmer or programmer in Ruby and uh, Rails the set vote is I just put here as a name of a set method a set vote which is uh, the method so it's not default of Ruby and Rails and then now I will add here at project so I will look on the project so once you click on the index on the table and then once I click the vote and then it will increment but first it will check okay, hey uh, what is the uh, what is the params or ID of this project so in this case we need to look okay we need to look on what kind of uh, project and then we need to find and we need to look on the params and then from that I think we can use the project ID to, yeah that's project ID because we will be using the project ID and then after that we will do the before action and then before action we will set the vote so yeah and then at the same time we will say only uh, create okay so I think we set our controller and then uh, is that applications controller so that's correct spelling correct spelling I think and then yeah and now we have the routes the votes and now we will go to the UI part so in the UI part, UI part what we're gonna do here is add in the project in here which is we already have here the vote so what we're gonna do in the vote is to best thing is we need to add a button 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 two and then vote and we'll say okay how many vote is that let's put in here let's print the ruby and then we can say project that vote we can say I think that's that was it and then we can say here yeah that's fine and this one and um, we will be adding here what is the params for the vote let's look on that one rails routes grab vote and then once we have here sky big uh, let's route grab vote so it's specific vote 
so here so it's kind of ugly so so to make it nice on how you can print the routes what you can do is rails route slash g and then vote then you can see exactly how it's clean so it can print to you in the right prefix so here uh, we gonna do is to think this one project votes and then let's go back to where is my yeah this one and then we will be adding here and then we will add the boat and the path and then we will say hey this is for the project and then from here we will add the class um we'll put the bdn bdn sm for to make it small and then bdn can let's say uh primary and then we will say hey uh, i want this method as a post okay let's see if it's work rails s and then i will pull out here my browser and uh, yeah and then i will add here localhost project so for instance someone create the project project first then here you have a vote and once i click vote nothing happening yet so let's see what's going on so if we are right so the vote the vote form okay let's look what is happening so when i create the vote and then it will append then set the vote no template votes okay okay i think our missing here is when i click vote it didn't know where it's gonna go so if i refresh so you can see here that i have vote too so what we're gonna do here is i think we need to add a uh, redirect i think redirect or render redirect to let's see oh yeah re we can use the redirect and then we can say projects and then path and then save and then once we refresh and then vote three four so now we can use the increment and you can apply also in your project if you try this uh, approach you what you can do is increment or uh, decrement so you can just put um, decrement and increment on the uh, on the pro uh, on the controller of the votes so i think that was it and yeah see you in the next video in the next video we will um create from the scratch without the scaffolding or we are not using the scaffolding but we will create from the scratch so you can understand how it works in terms of the controllers of using ruby on rails and hotwire okay and uh, in the near futures we will be adding a lot of futures on this project or on the project table so you can we can make a nice design like what i discussed in the introduction see you then on the next video and thank you for watching